you know, and I was shocked and, uh, and I, I didn't know how to react. I'm honored that the Norwegian Nobel Committee has honored me and, and my fellow journalist, Dmitry Moratov, in this way. This relentless campaign of harassment and intimidation against me and my fellow journalists in the Philippines is a stark example of a global trend that journalists and freedom of the press facing increasingly adverse conditions. I hope today's Nobel Peace Prize 2021 award will remind the authorities in the Philippines, Russia, around the world of the need to respect journalists and journalism. Independent journalism holding power to account has never been as important as it is today. The Philippine government filed 10 arrest warrants against me. Um, in the last year, the government has prevented my travel four times, including to the when my mother was diagnosed with cancer and I needed to go to see my, my aging parents. Um, I think what the prize signifies for journalists around the world, look, Russian, a Russian journalist, Dmitry Muratov. I think this just shows you that the battle is worth it. The personal sacrifices are worth it. And that you must find your team, the people who will fight the good fight with you, because this time matters. The Nobel Prize will help us shine a bigger light, continue investigative journalism that will hold power to account, hopefully give more courage to Filipinos, both the, our, the journalists who have held the line and for our civil society, for, for voters who are afraid, right? We've lived in an environment of violence and fear. And part of the reason we could continue doing our jobs in Rappler is because we had a good team that understood its mission. We knew, and I guess that I, that's what I hope this will do, that it will spark um, that, that it will spark more people to embrace their fear and conquer it and demand their rights. I didn't think that journalism would be as valued as it is. I didn't think uh, that what we are going through would get that attention, but the fact that it did also shows you how important the battles we face are, right? And I say this, this is gonna be what our elections are gonna be like next year. It is a battle for facts. When you're in a battle for facts, journalism is activism. We need to protect the facts. And the biggest problem we face right now is that um, the world's largest distributor of news, it's technology, Facebook, YouTube, that, that they actually prioritize the spread of lies laced with anger and hate over facts. So if you don't have facts, you can't have truth. If you don't have truth, you can't have trust. Without any of these three, democracy as we know it is dead.